not really trying to make a commercial for inshore power boats, but uh, you know, when I was looking to buy this boat, there's almost no information on it. Very few videos or pictures. Um, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I've had it for a couple weeks now. Um, upgraded from my 13-foot canoe to this. It's 14 and a half feet long. It's the uh, inshore power boat 14 or the IPB 14. Um, it's uh, 55 inches wide at the beam on top, 45 inches wide at the bottom on the floor. Um, it's got front and rear decks, both. Um, this one I had live well put in on the uh, back deck. It's a pretty good size bait well. I uh, also got a bilge pump and um, shark eye lights and tower lights along with the pulling platform. Uh, this particular boat here, at the time I was looking to upgrade, I was going to get the uh, GNU Low Tide 25. Um, that boat with just a rear deck and the options that I have on here uh, was $1,000 more. Um, I wound up getting this boat with the same options I was going to get on the GNU Low Tide 25 along with the uh, Continental trailer for the same price as what I would have paid for the uh, Low Tide 25 with just with no trailer. So um, it's a pretty good bang for the buck I think. Dry storage up front, I got my battery mounted up front for the trolling motor. You can see couple life jackets and stuff in there. Um, I added the rod holders to the sides. Um, and I have a uh, smaller battery mounted in the back. Just the, the, the rear battery is uh, operating just the uh, bilge pump and the uh, live well and the lights. Um, I set up my boat a little different from most people. I wanted the trolling motor mounted in the back. So I just went with a 45 pound riptide um, keep the front deck clean. Um, I also use this boat for bass fishing, so it's got a um, pedestal mount on the front deck. My wife likes to fish up there on the seat in the front deck. But uh, it's rated for, I guess, uh, 15 to 25. I already had a Mariner 15, so that's what I've put on it. Eventually I may upgrade, but um, for now that's what I'm using. And I've heard stories of people that they, they put uh, the 25 two-stroke on there. And a console and it sits too low in the back um, for me I'm not too hung up on speed um, it's fine with just 15 really uh, with with my wife and I all our fishing gear full Yeti full uh, live well um, it'll do about 17 miles an hour which is not fast but it gets on plane and gets to the uh, gets to where we're going fishing fast enough Very light. The uh, hull weighs 240 pounds. Um, I think that's pretty comparable to what the GNU was. And very nice trailer. Very impressed with the trailer. Originally, I was going to go with the GNU trailer, but it was just too narrow. So I'm pretty glad I went with this. Um, as far as dealing with inshore power boats, they're very hard to get a hold of. I think Brad's kind of. Uh, disorganized but he will bend over backwards to help you out um, when I decided uh, short notice that I was going to get the trailer he actually got me a loaner trailer to use so you know, it, he, he helped me out pretty good uh, but he's definitely hard to get a hold of he's got two businesses and they're uh, they're very busy the th three or four times that I've been to the uh, inshore power boats shop Everybody there is, looks like they're busting their ass. You know, so, um, text message, I think, is the best way to get a hold of the guy. This is a shot of the boat with the uh, Yeti mounted. This is a 45 quart Yeti. I think it's pretty much the perfect size for this boat. Um, I was able to drill into the floor to mount it. That was a concern. But uh, Brad assured me that it wouldn't be a problem. And a little 5200 in the holes. It's, it was number 10 screws. It mounted good and no problems. Works good for a center seat. Um, 
think the next thing I'll probably do is add a grab rail in the back here and uh, mount a GPS fish finder back there. But the way the boat comes, it uh, comes with front and rear decks, which is a major plus. A couple of things I didn't like. Um, rub rail, it gets the job done, but uh, it's kind of cheesy. Um, I don't even think it's really rub rail. It's kind of the stuff that goes on your door jams of your car uh, with a sheet metal. It's just glued on there. I'm probably going to upgrade this eventually with some regular rub rail, but not a big deal. Um, as far as fit and finish, um, it's definitely not one of the high-end boats, but it's not a $10,000 haul either. So for the price, I think it's pretty good.